And yep, my light's working. Hopefully it's focused. Okay, hey guys. I know I've got it crooked, but in order for me to do the string pull, I have to have it on an angle. I just can't seem to do it, you know, distraction. It's easier for me to have it sideways, so I got it at least on an angle for you guys. And you know what? I'm not going to do a string pull. I'm going to do a chain pull. I have a couple people have asked me to do some more, so I'm going to do that for you. No problem. Got the small chain, which is like this box chain. I'm not sure what they call it, but what really works well is my rope chain. I got this out of one of those claw machines years ago. I'll tell you what, it's got to be gold plated because it's never tarnished at all. Nice little chain. It can't be ripped solid gold because I don't think they would put them in there. Anyway, I went ahead and I covered my canvas with white. I could have used a different color, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my white because I want to use my leftover paint from my last video, which was neon colors. So, get started. And, um, real important thing when you're doing a string pull or a chain pull is to make sure your canvas is not thick with whatever color you lay down. I did one with purple and then I used a light pink and it didn't seem to show up that well in one of my videos, the string pull, so yeah, we'll see what happens, okay? But yeah, gotta use, I'm sorry, the, th the thick will just cover it all up. So. I'm going to start with my blue. I can't lay it down there. But I think I did show you guys this at one time. Let me angle this over here a little. Um, I don't know if Let me see. I'll tell you what. this out of the way. I'll show you how to do it. Always have a rag handy. Always. Because you're going to be wiping off your chains. I'm going to start with the blue. Neon blue. That I have left over. i just mix it up in there real good. Now one thing I would suggest, because sometimes you can get cells in your flowers, which you may not want. I know I don't. But uh, don't put the flow trowel in your string paint. Because then you might get the flow trowel does help with cells. So just use paint and water one part paint, one part water, you know. Um, I didn't do that with this one because I'm using leftover paint. But I just suggest that because I've been getting cells because of my flow draw. Don't use any silicone, but because my consistency is pretty right on, uh, I get cells <laughs> really easy. So, this is what we do is we submerge it in there and we're going to go like this okay once I am going to rinse or dry off my fingers and do it one more time but very lightly here now okay 
but I'm going to do that with every color. So I just wanted to show you so you have an idea there what I'm doing now on the camera. Hopefully this is going to work out. Quit wiggling chain. I love that the strings come out looking pretty too. This just seems to work a lot easier for me. Remember in between, wipe your fingers down. So easy. If it works out now, I you know, oh there went my light. Hopefully you can still see because I have my other lights on. Yeah, you can. Okay. Had uh, a couple people want me to do this again. I'm like, no problem. I kind of thought, well, the neon will look pretty. So now what I'm doing, please don't pop out cells. Oh, that's what I was saying. I have my canvas covered for about two, ten minutes here. Because I was doing things. I was getting laundry going and stuff. So, all right, now I'm going to switch to, let's see, how about the pink. Pink will look pretty. Trying to work fast for you guys. I figured a whole bunch of colors might look nice this time. You know you can do your chain two different colors too. And submerge, like lay it on a plate or something long. Put half of it and lay half of it down in one color and half of it down in another color. A lot of people do their flowers a color and then they'll do the stem um, a different color. Let's go way up here. Looks like it's not going to sell up so that's really good. We'll stop wiggling. I shake for my age. Oh. Shake a little bit. I'm 54 years old. Shake just a little bit. Oh. See, this is just hard for me when it's uh, straight in front of me. I'm going to have to angle this. And those little mess ups don't matter a whole lot. As soon as I pull this, I'll turn it sideways again. I'm sorry, guys. I have to keep it sideways to work on it. It's just hard <clears throat> doing it. With the camera and all. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with. Let's do the green. I mean the pink again. I actually think I have my canvas a little bit thick. I didn't tilt it off enough because you can see it's kind of muffly. It's kind of sinking in a little bit. You can kind of see it. Once you can see that canvas, when you pull it and you can see that white paint, 
uh, on the sides and you know it's a little too thick. You can tell it's thick if it'll cover up your stems and your leaves. It'll sink in like mud. And I'm wiping my fingers in between. So I don't drip. Yeah, this is a little easier when it's sideways for me. I guess if I stood up, maybe. Yeah, that's the secret. Do not have your canvas. put my fingers over here. Can you see that? Because I tend to not stay straight. So this helps you stay nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe that off really, really good again. Really, you should wipe, wash it in water in between if you're going to do different colors. Well, Anytime because your white from your chain will go into your colors. If you understand what I'm saying. So it's good to rinse it off in water. We just don't have enough time to be doing that because you can kind of tell this is a little bit on a darker pink because. The blue obviously didn't come off enough for that one. So I'm going to wipe it one more time, my chain. Let me think. What would it be pretty then? How about some green? A big green one here? Or now let's do... Hmm. to the green. I'm just doing what I taught you. I showed you. To put it in there, running my finger down once, but very light. I'm not squeezing it tight. I'm wiping my fingers off in between. So I don't drip on the canvas. When you drip on your canvas, it's not the worst thing. You take a dry one of your sticks. And just put it down in it. And lift up and then do it again and again and again until it disappears. Duh. A little thick. I'm not squeezing my chain enough. So, yeah. I mean, real light, but... You don't want it real thick either. Cleaning off my chain. That blue one turned out pretty. Well, they all did. Okay, I'm going to go in the green again. I wiped off my chain real good. This time. Well, now I don't want to wipe it off real good because I want it to be the same as the other one. <laughs> so easy. There's lots of different string techniques. Just look them up on YouTube.
Everybody has their own different ways of doing things too. Well, some people like lots and lots and lots and lots of flowers. I've seen some beautiful ones. Which I should actually try someday, but you know, I like to do my pour painting also and all kinds of stuff. Okay, should I put the orange in there? You know, I don't want to overdo it. So what I'm gonna do is put a green one here and a green one there and leave it at that. I have neon orange and I have neon yellow too, but yeah, I don't want to overdo it. Put my fingers on the chain, wiping my fingers off. Oh, it's the small ones right here. See how I didn't hold my finger down on that one to keep it straight? And see how it's a little thick down here. That's why I keep my finger down on the bottom as a guide. <clears throat> and that's my air conditioner unit. Saying hello. <laughs> Put some small ones down in there, different color. Don't hurt. That looked awful thick. That one's pretty. Okay, I'm going to put this chain in water. Pour a little bit of water in there. Just to keep it from getting the paint to dry in between the cracks of the chain. I want that hardening in there and I'm having a hard time getting out. So I'm going to switch to the other chain and do some small little oranges. Should look cool. We'll see. We'll see why. Yeah, it won't hurt it any. Because it's neon flowers. And then we do have yellow too. I could do yellow, yellow, orange, orange. But I kind of want to make it even. Let me think. And it looks like I have a kitty hair right in the middle. I do. Or my hair. Wow, that's a big long hair. Okay. Now those white should dry up normal. Hmm. All right. That's what I'll do is I'll just go, we'll use all the colors. I'm going to do some small little weed or little the petite ones if they show up because this can just was a little bit thick and that's what I st stress out to people a whole lot to make sure you keep that canvas thin, tilt it, tilt it, tilt it, just drip it off like crazy. 
and these kink. These kind of chains do. That's all good. I don't know if you can see it up close, but yeah, that one is kind of pretty. The one I just did, it's got f fluffy petal at the top. Let's see, should I do another orange hair, orange hair, or yellow? Because I have neon yellow also. Let's do all the colors. Maybe I should do the orange because it will. least hmm yeah I better do the orange Put a yellow in between that. Hmm. Not too shabby, I would say. Just not too noticeable either, the orange. Um, I did one one time and I didn't like flowers. So I actually took um, a different color and did it right back on top of it. But these actually look pretty. I don't think you guys can see them that close. You can't. But the, if you look real close, you can see the feathers like on there. So they actually do look good. But not in the camera. I can't see them from the camera. I won't be able to hold that up close. But I think that's all I'm going to do. I could put a little yellow one here in the end or something, just a small, a little one there. But uh, let's, I'm just going to end it there. And hopefully we turn it right this time. <laughs> it's pretty. Very pretty. 
Come on, camera, focus. Is it focused, guys? Well, what you can do too is on the end here. I'm not going to tilt it to show you, but you can might be able to see it down in here. It has the string colors, which is fine. And it's kind of neat. It gives a character. But if you want to, you can take your white paint and you can paint that edge. I don't. I leave them that way just because they look pretty cool that way. So. And. Yeah. Unfortunately, the light went out. So. Maybe you can see the orange. A little featheries on there. So they did work out well. I'm pleased with it. Well, I will not go over this one. I will keep this. And I think it's very pretty. Actually very nice. So thank you guys for watching. And that's that. Like it, the video if you liked it. Press like. Thank you and have a really good day. Bye-bye.